Tonight on BCN Weekly News. Whole science comes down and it gives its place to a new building on campus. What the new building is coming up. Plus, the SGA's executive president has made public a list of all student government association candidates for this year. And an unexpected celebration cancelled for its second year in a row. We've got access to the reasons behind the event's cancellation. All of this and more coming up soon tonight on BCN Weekly News. Live from BCNR's studio in Berea, Kentucky, this is BCN Weekly News. And welcome back to another newscast of BCN Weekly News. My name is Esteban Reina. The old science building, also known as Hall Science, has been demolished to make way for a brand new state-of-the-art building on campus. According to an email from President Rulofs, the much-anticipated computer, media and information technology building will replace the old science building. Construction crews started working on the project in the summer, and sources in connection to that plan tell us that the building will house the computer, science, communication and ISNS departments. We're told the building is projected to be finished in fall 2022. An email from the SGA's executive president, Obina Ilokongwu, has made public a list of all the SGA candidates for this year's elections. The email lists the campaigns running for the offices of freshman class president and vice president, freshman class senator, and senators at large. 13 different campaigns with only seven offices up for grabs. The SGA elections opened on Monday, September 6th at 8 p.m. This is the second year in a row that the homecoming celebration has been cancelled. According to an email from the Associate Vice President for Alumni Relations, Jackie Collier, the homecoming events have been cancelled due to concerns about the surge of COVID-19 cases on campus. Emails from staff members involved with the decision confirm that the Black Student Union pageant, the homecoming dance and other events will, take, will still take place. Coming next, a rushed evacuation. President Biden meets allies following the evacuation of American troops and personnel from Afghanistan. And for this week's special report, our reporter Shania Swan takes an inside look on how Berea students have transitioned back into in-person classes and how this has affected them. Plus, our reporter Cameron Williams takes a look at the cancellation of the 2020 Berea baseball team's season and how the team is changing. Keep tuned for more BCN Weekly News after this break. Visit Habitat.org to find out how you can help more families like mine have a safe, decent place to call home. Along the edge of Appalachian, Kentucky, sits one of the world's most distinctive and exceptional colleges, where all peoples of the earth live together, learn together, and grow together. Thanks for staying with us. On Tuesday, August 31st, President Biden reached the deadline created by former President Donald Trump to evacuate all U.S. troops and associates from Afghanistan. President Biden met with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. Mackenzie Carmack has more on this. On Tuesday, August 31st, President Biden stated in his speech that over 90 percent of all Americans have been evacuated from Afghanistan. However, there are over 200 Americans still waiting for departure. The Taliban has taken control of the Kabul airport, where most Afghans and U.S. troops left the country. Many seeking refuge were unable to make it home before Tuesday. As of now, the war has cost the U.S. $2.3 trillion. President Biden wants to direct more money towards the rescue plan, even though the deadline has already passed. American conflict in Afghanistan is complex. To get more on the issue, I sat down with political science professor Dr. Hayerman to get more insight on the issue. When, when Trump was president, he negotiated a, a, an agreement 
with the Taliban, Trump had began, begun to pull some troops out. He did not pull all the troops out when he was president, but he left this agreement. He does not want to leave the Afghan war, postpone decision on it for his successor. His predecessors left this for him, and he's making sure that he isn't leaving a mess for his successors to clean up. And that, so that's a little bit about the, about what I know about the two situations, the two events. As of Wednesday's meeting between President Biden and President Vladimir Zelensky, the U.S. and Ukraine agreed to remain allies throughout Russia's aggression. However, the two leaders also discussed defense agreements and NATO membership for Ukraine. We will keep you up to date about any developing news that comes forward about the case. As of now, that is all the information we have received. I'm at Berea College's Frost Pudding, where the political science offices are located. Mac Harmack, BCN Weekly News. Thanks, Mackenzie. Berea students have returned at full capacity for the first time since the notorious shutdown in spring 2020. Many students have expressed different opinions on their transition back towards in-person learning. Our reporter Shania Swan talked with current Berea students to see how they feel about the current semester. Once the appearance of coronavirus emerged, Berea was forced to shut down back in the spring semester of 2020. Since then, Berea has fully reopened at full capacity, inviting students to return to campus. I had a chance to meet with current Berea students to give us some of their insight as to what are their current feelings of being back on campus since the start of the pandemic. The college earlier this semester made a decision to invite Berea students back to campus. It has nearly been over a year since some students in Berea can remember being inside of a classroom. Many students have expressed different views on their transition back towards in-person learning. I spoke with senior education and CFS major Taylor Gilbert to see what she had to say about returning back to Berea. It's been a big adjustment coming back. I think seeing this amount of people has been pretty crazy for me, just because also like when I when we did quarantine and we did COVID, I took it really seriously. So I was the type of people that says home and you know orders the groceries, and so I would never go out. So then coming back, you know, moving into the dorm and living with 25 girls and going to dining during rush with 200 people has been a really big adjustment. I feel like I've gotten a lot of anxiety from it, but I'm just trusting the school that they're making good choices and that they know what they're doing for us being here right now. And I have to continue academically, obviously, um, since I'm a senior. Despite students' hesitancy, with COVID still being around with in-person classes, other students describe their return to Berea as a pleasant reunion. Now, it has been an adjustment for many, but students at Berea have found many ways to transition back into campus. As President Lau Rulo says, stay safe, get vaccinated, and stay in touch. Reporting from Berea College campus, Shania Swan, BCN Weekly News. Thanks, Shania. Students and staff may remember that two years ago, the 2020 Berea baseball team's season ended before it began. Most details about the cancellation were withheld from public. Our reporter Cameron Williams has more information on the baseball team's recent developments. Cameron? That's right, Esteban. Even though most details about the cancellation were withheld from the public, statements from President Roloffs and the former provost, Dr. Linda strong Leak, were sent out to the community. The first email from Dr. strong Leak read, open quote, all student athletes are expected to abide by team, departmental, and college policies. We are committed to assuring that all of our current and future students represent themselves, their teams, and the college in a manner consistent with Berea College's code of conduct." End quote. A second email sent out two weeks later confirmed Berea's decision not to field the baseball team as certain violations of college policy and team rules by some, but not all, members of the team occurred. So the college canceled the 2020 season. The email went on to express interest in rejoining the USA South Conference for the spring 2021 season, but that season also didn't happen due to the COVID-19 pandemic. With all fingers crossed, the Berea team looks ready to return this upcoming spring under the leadership of new head coach, Chris Lewis, who hopes to bring a new culture with him. Thank you, Cameron. 
On behalf of our news team, thank you for watching BCN Weekly News. My name is Esteban Reina. For more coverage, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Berea College News Radio and watch us at www.bcnewsradio.com. Good night.